It's Friday morning, so it must be time to visit with Justin and see how life is going in the construction industry. Young man, how are you today? Uh, there's no lying here. We're, we're, I'm getting a bit worn out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, uh, the Friday, the, these Fridays are great in one way because, you know, it's, I know it's over for, you know, maybe a day or so. But uh, not, not this week, though. I mean, this week we still have Saturday book. But, um, but yeah, this time of year, I was saying to you off camera, this time of year it, it starts to, to close in on you a little bit because you're, there's more available daylight. We're all working, you know, 8 to 14 to, in my case, I'm, you know, 24 hours a day. And, um, yes, yeah, this, it's, it's, this is when it starts to come in. And it's I was ta having a talk with the guys the other day we were having one of our one of our meetings on monday and i'm just like you know you know like the thing that sucks about summer and and you know summer is amazing the thing that sucks about it even more in canada is we we have this we have this window to work in and we in construction we like up here in the north even in the northern u.s like we developed this thing where we gotta like we gotta go stupid long stupid hours for these six months because you know the building time is cut down to a quarter uh mm. in the winter and then you go further up north it's i mean it's worse but um and we you know not just me but i find that like everybody in this in this industry is just toast by you know middle of august and uh and you know and a lot of times we have huge falls still in front of us before before christmas because then we have the christmas push so it's um it, it, I feel it every year, uh, you know, every year you try to fix it and it, uh, it, 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 it's tough because I mean the, you know, good economy, bad economy, if you're a good company, the demand in, in the summertime is it's always there and it's always, you know, now, now, now kind of thing. So, um, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, yeah, it gets a little tiring come August. I, I was surprised because I thought. You know, with the interest rates going up, and I, this is, I'm glad you brought that up. The housing market is still going crazy. Like I, yeah. I was, I was looked at some stats. It, it dropped to its lowest point in January. Then it right. started climbing again. Like it's yeah. been going, like, I don't know how you guys can keep up. The demand is definitely there, but you, you want to do qual. I know you guys, you want to do quality work and right. you're trying to get things done on time. And it's just, it's a constant, isn't it? It just never ends these days, does it? No, it's, it's, it, it's funny. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting on all this, uh, all this stuff that everybody's talking about where we're going to downturn because I mean, I have heard of other, you know, smaller companies that maybe had some slow periods, but I, I honestly, I can't say for one minute that we've had anything slow. And I mean, I, I'm still, we're still a little bit behind, you know, we're, we're supposed to be on some stuff. Uh, we're supposed to start some stuff about two weeks ago that we have not yet. Um, so we're, we're a little bit, we're a little bit off, but I mean, I'm absolutely almost wall to wall, uh, booked with elevation homes almost till, you know, mid November, almost approaching Christmas. Uh, there's a few holes in there for, for yeah. smaller stuff, but, uh, the big stuff is definitely filled, filled those gaps already. So, I mean, we, we haven't, uh, we haven't seen any of that yet, uh, in, in, in the, in the housing and the real estate. Uh, things have started to, uh, you know, move at a recent at a decent pace, and and you know what's interesting is just the two in the past two weeks, I I've seen action a lot of action over a million dollars. Like some of the some of the stuff that we have that is more expensive that people shied away from in the spring, somehow they have the money now. <laughs> and, well, and uh, yeah, and what does that? You went off the. Was it maybe that rush because they knew the rates were going up again? Because we kind of knew about this two weeks ago. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I was, you know, again, another conversation is that, like, you know, I I have seen a little bit of migration again. I, I've seen some people coming out here to Brantford, Norfolk, and uh, I've seen that stuff coming from Toronto and, and Hamilton again, like, you know, like we did a few years back. Not on that scale, but, um, you know, people are, once again, you know, they don't want you know, they, they maybe are the rate heights stable? Are they going to go up in the fall? So they're kind of thinking, all right, well, you know, let's see if we can do a move before school starts and sell our house in Toronto for a million and get something 
that is six times the size in in uh, out this way, out west, uh, even as far as London, things have picked up as far as as that goes. But you know, they're they're parallel moves in most cases. But the, what they're getting is you know twenty or thirty times what they had in the city, right? Are you, I, I know this is a dumb question, but when are you going out and quoting stuff? Are you going out after work? Like, I I don't see how you can even find the time to do that. Yeah, I I, I try to organize it these days around um, around you know where we're actually working. So if we're working near somewhere, then what I'll do is I'll try to buzz out on lunch. Uh, I've uh, I've annoyed a lot of people with seven thirty appointments. I can tell you that. <laughs> And I've also annoyed a lot of people with nine o'clock appointments. Is that AM or PM? Because you know, you we're up at six doing our show, so yeah, I don't know what they're yeah, complaining yeah. about. <laughs> no, yeah, but, but like you know, so this week we, I had three. I did three appointments at seven thirty AM so that I could still uh, get to work on materials time. and still like a lot of my guys don't start till nine for all different reasons um, because uh, three, like three of the finishers. They generally on a 9 a.m. schedule start because they, they're they in somebody's house. And during the school season, we don't go there while they're, everybody's getting ready, right? No, it just makes so, sense. Uh, yeah, so so we just kind of set those those finisher guys at 9. I mean, the, the, the rough guys and, and whatnot, I mean, or if we're doing fences or decks, I mean, like if we're outside the house, yeah, we're, mm-hmm. we're getting there at 7.30. But. So I got to ask a quick question because this is – where I've been, we've been trying to go this way for a few weeks, and but I think it's more <laughs> pro builder, your pro builder company related. Uh, you and I were talking about old stone houses off air, and I, when I drive by them, you're always just they mystify me. I want to go inside, I want to look around, right? Because I think they're they're really cool. You know, you oh, have yeah. those little wooden store staircases, and you always think, oh, I could pick it up pretty cheap, I bet. You know, it needs a lot of work, but this is where you come into play because pro builder, and I want you to talk about what you do at pro builder. Like, you know, a guy like me doesn't know enough, needs mm-hmm. somebody like you and Pro Builder does that type of work. They'll come in and inspect, make sure, you know, tell you, okay, you need to do this, 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 this. Like, are these investments worth it? Let's start right there. Well, I mean, the the the, the century stone stuff, again, the 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 aesthetic and the allure of, of, uh, of these places for... If you're into that kind of stuff, and like, and again, I'm I'm big. I'm a big architecture guy. You know, that's that's half the reason why I do this. Is um, I, I I'm not actually. I never started as a builder. I started as as an artist, and I became interested in the art of houses and the art of buildings. And you know, because I'm because I'm physical and work with my hands, that led to the building on the of the houses, right? So I mean. The, the architecture of this stuff to me is that's what drives me to go work on them because it ain't fun working on, <laughs> you know, like you gotta, again, it's one of those, it's one of those passion things that, uh, in, in any industry and in anything you do, I mean, the drive to do it has got to be there. If you're just walking into a, a dungeon of a house, uh, for 99% of the people, I mean, they're, they're, they have zero passion to go into that dungeon, right? Where, Whereas, you know, the things that, and, and the things that are so nostalgic about these things is that if you stop and like on a construction site, you stop and you think about the, the hands and the, and the mortar that was mixed and the hand sawing and the hand nailing. And, you know, you try to like, I don't know what it is with me. Like I, I try to picture the conversations that were had when, because I know what we do right now. Right. In modern day building. And I tried to picture the conversations that were had when these stone buggers were going up. And it, it like, you know, it, 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 I can't even, it boggles my mind to even think about how they did this. Yeah. Um, and they did it at a decent speed, even in, in, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s. So anyways, I mean, they're amazing places. Uh, you know, Norfolk and Brant are full of them. Yep. When they're restored, they are absolute showstoppers, but what you got to keep in mind from from uh, from a, you know a perspective of a pro builder inspection or or somebody that's coming in to assess this uh, for you to buy is that like like these are they they do have their their nuances. I mean, a lot of them 
you know, a lot of them, because of the stone, the stone can work in, in a bunch of different ways. They, the stone can help and clad and absorb heat. And it, they also absorb water and hold water and, you crack. know, types and, and crack and, uh, and, and bugs and like all these types of things, because it's not, it's not a perfect science of, of, a, of an exterior. Right? No. It, it's not generally sealed. Like like a siding house or a wood house or a stucco house, or I mean, like we can seal those up pretty good. Um, but these things, you know, th- they're kind of open, and and in some ways, they need to be open because if they don't breathe, then they will never dry out. Um, ah. You know, so when they do get wet, so when they, when you know the stone the stone and it's generally granite, so it doesn't absorb too much. But when the stone absorbs water, I mean, it's got to have a way out as well. Yep. So. So I mean, at, so at, at, at Pro Builder Inspection, uh, what we sorry, what we do, like, I mean, it's basically a, an inspection an inspection company that would come in, um, and we're not, uh, I shouldn't say, it, we're not, uh, I guess, at your typical, um, you know, home inspection type thing. We're we're not really inspecting for um, safety, and I mean, not, we are, but we're not inspecting for the typical home inspection list. We're in, we're inspecting to see if you know renovations can be done. Um, is this is this a good buy for uh, for the money kind of thing? Um, am I getting in over my head? I mean, we're inspecting so that you guys can work with the house and not just to make sure that it's safe uh, and and all the typical lists, right? You're more consumer orientated. You want to see the value for that person. Uh, reach its potential, but you have to understand what the faults are in the home first. Right. So when I, you know, if you're, and it's what you said there, it was a couple of things, like an old home like that, you're, you're basically, you're doing a huge renovation. I mean, you got, like you said, the stone, the wiring, there's the plumbing, there's so many secondary issues. And with you guys walking through and just looking at the scenarios that you could, this person could be facing if they purchase this home, it gives a better oversight. Um, to what's going to need to be spent or done to make this home up to your your par, up to you what you want. Right. But like you said, when it's done, the value skyrockets on these things, doesn't it? Oh yeah, no, and that's and that's exactly it. So it's it's more of a it's more in this case in in buying an old stone house, it's more about a renovation inspection without without that that sort of obligation to hire a contractor to get to that point because you you may. You may or may not even want this house after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. After we, after, after we tell you what is wrong, right? And the nice thing about it is you pay, you know, you, you pay a flat rate fee on that, and we we give you more of a a, a reno quote or a an informational quote um, on on the structure, on you know, on all the different things that would go into, you know. Should I buy this house, or should I even renovate the house that I currently own because I currently own a stone house, right? Yeah. And 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 we can you know we can estimate the the you know the finished equity and and how far this is going to get you and whether or not it's worth it, right? Um, whereas a typical home inspection is just like yeah, okay, the plugs work and the lights work and the furnace works, and I mean you know that's great. Like we we got that part. The the safe and sound part is. Um, is is one aspect of it, but we tell you whether or not that work can be done viably and affordably, uh, because you know the 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 older the house gets, the the higher that that risk factor of of you know uh, running out of money on them basically, because I mean that they, they're just they're full of worms, they're full of worms, and I've done I don't know I think I've done pre nineteen hundred I think I've done fourteen. And they offer they 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 offer you a ton of challenges, like you said. But probably being, I know you, like you talked about earlier, and your twenty some twenty some odd years experience, being able to go into something like that and do the project's got to be so so fulfilling. From from the elevation side of you, um, you know, getting that opportunity, but the pro builder, you're being downright honest and saying, "Look, this is what it's going to cost you if yeah. this is a big investment." And yeah. I think. On even even a modern home, when you go in and you say, no, you can't move that wall, that's what people need to hear. Like they need that right. in, instruction and information because 
average guy like me doesn't have a clue, right? I'm just going to move yeah. this wall, right? And yeah, yeah. next thing and you know, yeah. you no, that's exactly, and, and and you can't um, you can't fool around with these ones. I mean, they it's again, you're doing if you're doing an old an old stone house or you're doing a, a an old farmhouse or whatever. I mean, you got to people are doing it for the nostalgia, and that, this is what they want, right? I mean, we're, we're doing another one right now, and it's an old brick home, but I mean. <laughs> Where this guy is on his budget is literally three times the price of a new bill. But but this is what he wanted. I mean, he, he wanted to live in in something that has, you know, gone through uh centuries. And yeah. and, and that's something you just you just gotta know. And and if that's you know, unfortunately it takes kind of deep pockets in some of these things to make yeah. to get them to the point, but man, they are the most incredible houses you know, on the planet, if you do them right and they're restored and, and, uh, I mean, you, you're, you can live in history, which is, which yeah. is amazing, right? You have, you will have basically a story for every piece of trim and every corner in that house. And it's weird how, how, you know, you buy one of these places and we've done many all over Ontario and, and even in the U S um, is how all, all the, all the, somehow, all the stories seem to come out of the walls eventually, whether it's in newspapers, whether it's in, the, you know, the 80 year old neighbor down the road, you know, or, or whatever, or you actually find, I mean, we found these time castles before we found these, we find these things and people stick in the walls before yeah. they leave. And cool. uh, some pretty, pretty incredible stuff. I mean, just even the antique market stuff, like we, I donate a lot of stuff to uh, Waterford antique market because we, we pull it out left, right and center and windows and, uh, you yeah. know, transoms and stained glass. And, um, you know, I, I just dropped off a load down there to, of Tiffany lamps, like not real Tiffany lamps, believe no. me, I've been keeping them, but, <laughs> um, but no, you know, replica Tiffany lamps and, you know, we get a few bucks for them, but if somebody's looking, if a designer's looking for a Tiffany lamp for, you know, under hundred bucks and these, these, these things are, I mean, they're, they're perfect, but but that's what I mean is that, it, and a lot of times someone will integrate some of that stuff back into the builds. But if you want to live in history, eh, you know, you got to be ready for it when it comes to these rentals, right? Thanks for doing this today. I know Pro Builder is busy. I know Elevation Homes is busy. Take care. Have a great week and look forward to talking to you real soon. Okay, bud? Thank you, sir.